Hey guys, welcome to another gig vlog. Today starts my one week, one week residency <laughs> at Box Elder Middle School. So this is gonna be, gonna be kind of a fun gig vlog, you guys. I am playing for Box Elder Middle School where I live, is having a play called Camp Rock. And my son is in it. But the lady that is running the play has also asked me and my kids to play the opening of the play and play intermission. So we're gonna do like a medley of rock tunes and uh, just have some fun. And so I'm setting up, I took all my drums and my drums are not here, they're in the van. I'm gonna use my HX Stomp this weekend. This is my uh, gig vlog, or sorry, this is my new pedal board. Uh, it's surrounding my HX Stomp. And then I think I'm just gonna play through a little boss katana on stage just to have something behind me. I think that's gonna be fine for what this gig is. It's just uh, the Box Elder Middle School play. It's not a huge rock gig. We're only playing for like maybe 10 minutes before the show and maybe 15 minutes during the intermission. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Watch the whole video. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go. All right guys, so this is where I went to, this was called the junior high back in my day. And who would have thought that I would be playing on stage with my own kids at my junior high in a little rock band, however many years later. Millions of years later. <laughs> I got lots of stories from this little junior high school, I could tell you. Maybe I'll tell them in, in this vlog, some of the stuff that happened here. It's kind of fun. Misha, oh, it's not a picture. <laughs> can you name three Def Leppard songs? Hysteria. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Give me a second. She, I think she even has a Def Leppard shirt, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out my new uh, pedal board that I built. This is my pedal board for my HX Stomp and I'm just going to talk about why I have certain pedals on this board, what I did with this and kind of the whole reason I set this up is I had a gig with my kids. We played at this middle school. Uh, we played for this play. We were the opening number for the play which we did a like four song medley. <clears throat> And then in the intermission, we played like three songs um, back to back, like 15 minutes. But um, I have my HX Stomp set up so that I can play um, kind of a variety of tones, really only three. <laughs> and that's really all I needed anyway. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did and how I set that up uh, just based on the pedals on my board. And... I used what's called snapshots in Helix. So Helix, if you guys know Helix, it has snapshots and I thought this would be a good way. I've never really used snapshots a whole lot. Um, I sold my Helix and bought an HX Stomp because I think it would, I thought it was funner to build like a pedal board around my, a little small version of the Helix instead of having a huge Helix and building the pedal board around that. Uh, that way I can just put as many pedals on the board as I want and kind of just mess mess around and I like how portable the HX Stomp is and that's why I did that. Today I'm playing my Deluxe Nashville Telecaster 
or my Nashville Deluxe Telecaster. I can't remember what it's called. But this is one of my favorite tellies, you guys. Um, it just gets like all the tones you really need for classic rock and blues and stuff like that. All right, so here's the board. Uh, don't mind my socks. You're going to see my feet in this. I'll be stepping on stuff. Don't mind that. Uh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Uh, okay, so the first sound I have set up, um, let me just talk about the board real quick. So over here, sock, follow the sock. All right, so over here we have an A, B, Y box. <clears throat> I have one cable going out to, for the guitar, it's going to this compressor, the Donner compressor, going into an Azor overdrive, then it goes into HX stomp, then it goes into a reverb. So I freed up some uh, DSP, I guess, by not having a reverb in the HX stomp and just using this new X reverb called the damp. And that's that line. The other line is going into um, this Harmony Singer pedal. This is for my vocals. Because at this gig, I was the main singer. I sang all the songs. That's usually how it is for me sometimes. And from there, it goes into this other one called the Mic Mechanic. It goes into an AB switcher, which this is if I just want to shut that... Um, that line completely off, but the line goes into this Roland synth, or sorry, Boss, same company, I guess, Boss synth pedal called the um, SY200. <clears throat> and I'll show you why I did that. Um, I didn't use it that often, but it was just kind of a, a nice extra filler for just adding more depth because we were just a three piece. It was just me and my kids. It was really simple songs, nothing major. Um, so it, sound number one was this, because we kicked off the gig with a song you guys might all know called uh, Summer of 69. <laughs> So in Helix, I'm just running a Friedman amp model and also running IR, some IRs off the Friedman. So I'm using the Helix cab and then I'm splitting and using an IR. So it's like a dual cab situation is what I'm doing. And then I think I have a noise gate on there and then there's some delay in choruses in there, but I don't, I don't turn those on until another song. So after we get done playing uh, Summer of 69, oh, I should talk about this. So this the synth pedal on Summer of 69 when the when the synth comes in this part That's kind of why I wanted that in there or just for some pads If I wanted them um and then as soon as we got done playing that song, we went straight into the song by Jimmy Eat World called The Middle. And during that song, I would turn on this channel, which was like my lead channel. this snapshot to this snapshot. And then we went into a straight into a song that sounds like this.
and that's basically it. Um, and then if I want to on this channel, on just the main rhythm channel, which is this middle snapshot. So they're basically three snapshots. The first one is a Def Leppard stereo one. Summer of 69, then a lead. That's my third snapshot. But if I'm on the rhythm snapshot and I just wanted to add, without delay, add more distortion, I have this Azor overdrive that I give you. vocals this was for i was trying to talk my daughter into singing uh more during the gig and she did not want to um she did sing on free falling but she wouldn't sing on anything else so i was doing harmonies with hitting this harmony singer here this pedal here called the mic mechanic these are by tc electronics this one has a reverb and a delay on it just to add a little bit more to my voice and that's basically my HX Stomp pedal board build I did. And this is just an expression pedal that turns the, turns the synth on. still trying to figure out that synth because I feel like it jumps in volume if you are really aggressive with it. Um, so I might put a compressor in front of it uh, just to control the peaks. Because I don't want it like just jumping out like that on certain, like if I hit a chord hard or something like that. It's kind of weird. Like with a distorted guitar sound, you're not going to get that. It's, it kind of stays compressed. Even though I still use a compressor on my guitar sounds, this organ sound kind of needs a compressor, I think, almost. So I might try to put another pedal in between um, the ABY or the AB switcher and the organ. And really, I don't really need the pedal. I could just turn it on and off from here. But it's nice having control, I guess, over the volume. If I want it. Anyway, you guys, that's my pedal board build. I will put I will put some clips of the sounds throughout the video and also at the end I'll put a little clip of the actual medley I played with my kids. This was like a two week notice gig where the lady that was in charge of the play that we we played for um, asked if we could do it. So I basically had my kids learn like uh, five songs and then um, that medley we did at the beginning. Kind of fun. Had a good time with my kids. It was a great way to spend time with your kids. If you, if you get a chance to play music and do that with your kids, do it. Very worth it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments of this kind of pedal board build and uh, how, how you would have done it differently, maybe, or sounds you would have used. It was mostly a classic rock type sounding gig, so that's kind of why I had the sounds I used. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you at the next video. So we've been doing this show for how many times? This is, wait.
This is the seventh this, time? No. No? Six. This is number six. Oh. <laughs> I can't count, I guess. So we've been doing the same play, opening for it, and doing the intermission. This will be our sixth time. And, and we've been to two um, rehearsals. Yep, yeah, and we're ready to be done. But it's been fun. So, and the Helix sounded really good. So you guitar nerds, the Helix is still a valid, valid, the Helix is still valid. A valid platform. <laughs> so believe us, huh, Misha? All right. We are your pre-show entertainment. We are the Bischoffs.